وَاسْتَعِينُوا وَنَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ شُرُورِ أَنفُسِنَا وَمِنْ سَيِّئَاتِ أَعْمَالِنَا مَنْ يَهْدِ اللَّهُ فَلَا مُضِلَّ لَهُ وَمَنْ يُضْلِلْهُ فَلَا هَادِيَ لَهُ وَنَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا عَبْدُهُ وَرَسُولُهُ أَمَّا بَعْدُ فَأَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَلَأَسْرِنَّ الْإِنْسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرٍ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ When our belief become corrupt, then with corrupt belief the means are given preference over good actions when means are given preference over actions then action will get corrupted when means result in action being given altogether allah will cause problems in every aspect of life on contrary when actions are preferred over means then allah will bless means due to good actions that is why basis of all action is iman the basis of all action is iman of all the orders of allah the biggest order is to bring iman to allah without iman it is not possible to be steadfast on the orders of allah without iman it is not possible to be steadfast on the orders of allah steadfastness means a muslim practice the complete deen and not the person practice only that much deen which his conditions allows him and leave the rest to allah after this this deen will be insufficient so that steadfastness doesn't mean to be firm only on one order of deen rather steadfastness means Allah mentioned is in Quran that which translate you worship me which is the straight path ya ka na'budu wa ya ka nasta'in complete complete obedience of Allah is called the straight path muslim thinks that in all aspects of life in the business in the farming in the marriages in the appearance and clothing in all the necessities of life one can lead the life in any manner they want however they need to bow down only in front of allah in this world in this world one can lead the life in any manner they want but they have to bow down in front of allah this is what muslim thinks Worship means to bow down his head in front of Allah. Rather, that's not true. Iman doesn't mean to bow down the head in front of Allah only in salah. Iman doesn't mean to bow down to Allah in front of Allah only in salah. Rather, in as every aspect of life, one heart should be directed to Allah and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is the real meaning of bowing down. In this era, Muslims in all aspect of life lead a life in any manner they want, but bow down in only in front of Allah. My dear friends, elders, this bowing down our head is not worship. Rather, 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 worship is. in all aspect of life one should obey the orders of allah this is called worship Stra- steadfastness is not that from all aspect of life one just fulfill the order of allah only in one aspect who prays properly but his earning are from impossible means his means of earnings are forbidden in all aspect of life one should obey the orders of allah this is called steadfastness imam ghazali says that worship consists of 10 things 
نمبر ون اس صلاح نمبر ٹو فاسٹنگ نمبر تھری حج نمبر فور زکاة نمبر فائی ذکر نمبر سیون ریسائٹیشن آف قرآن نمبر اینڈ نیکس ون اس دی ایفرٹ آف انویٹیشن ٹوورڈز اللہ اینڈ دن نمبر ایٹ اس بزنس نمبر نائن اس نمبر ایٹ اس بزنس نمبر نائن اس رائٹس آف نیبرز اینڈ نمبر ٹین اس being particular about being particular about following the sunnah these are ten, ten things that consist of ibadah that if one is fulfilling the orders of Allah regarding the above ten points regarding the above ten points then he is doing the real worship of Allah the concept of wor worship has just been limited to salah nowadays That's why the Muslim has become free in other aspects of life. The behavior of the hypocrite was such that they would do actions according to the conditions. Hypocrites would participate in the congregational prayers in the masjid. They would see the situation that in this situation it is the right time to go out in the path of Allah with the companions. If the situation was favorable, the hypocrites would go with them but if the situation was not favorable the hypocrite would give false excuses please listen carefully if a muslim looks at the condition while practicing deen then this way of practicing deen based on condition was the practice of hypocrites that they would practice deen based on condition companion used to practice deen based on the condition Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran that there are such people who obey the orders of Allah while being on the border between disbelief and belief if the condition were, were favorable they would come towards Islam if the condition were unfavorable they would move toward disbelief so the hypocrites would be on the border of disbelief and Islam the categories of those who are on the border says that it's enough to practice only the obligatory de deeds in Islam. In this era, Muslim says that it is enough to practice only the obligatory deeds in Islam. Rather, the obligatory deeds are the prerequisite to come into and fold into the Islam. So when a person was invited to Islam, he was told that for you to enter into the fold of Islam, it's a prerequisite that you have to pray Salah fast, paid the obligatory charity pilgrim of the house of Allah and the first and the most important recite the two shahada the first and the most important recite the two shahadas that is what is Islam the introduction of Islam recognition of Islam the perfection of Islam is in following the sunnah Just limiting Islam to the obligatory deeds is like limiting Islam only to its foundation. That this is not the case. Rather, there is a foundation and on top of the building is built. From the building it could be determined the purpose of the building. This is the hospital building, this is the masjid building, this is hotel, this is school, this is college. The foundation is not visible but the building is visible. The introduction of Islam will be given by following the Sunnah. Just by ob observing the obligatory deeds, then Muslim, one thing that de deen has been practiced. I have already mentioned that saying Imam Ghazali that worship is ten things. One more important thing is that worship means worship means to obey Allah perfectly. O obedience is the right of Allah. Obedience such a right that obedience can't be done of anyone other than Allah nor, nor any worship can be done of anyone other than such a right that obedience can't be done by anyone nor any worship can be done of anyone rather than Allah. So this is the way of